bladder cancer is unfortunately a, a very aggressive cancer with a relatively high mortality rate. It's a, one of the highest killers cancer in the U.S. This is the most complex surgery we do. We have these two ureters bringing urine down and the urine has to go out somewhere so the patient can actually continue to live and function normally. Uh, and that's why this is a complex case that is removal and reconstruction. When you do robotic surgery, you have a camera so you can actually go around the corners. You see everything so much better. You could see the small, small nerves and vessels that you don't see in open surgery. From the first case, it was clear to me that this will be the future of surgery. Once Dr. Wicklund arrived, we changed to doing everything inside the patient's body robotically. Some of the key benefits are less blood loss with the robotic procedure. We can do the robotic procedure with less pain than in some cases without any narcotics at all. The patients are able to move around easier and faster and then are much more comfortable with the smaller incisions. This for us was a sea change forward. We have established ourselves as the major robotic cystectomy center in New York. We've put together a multidisciplinary team of experts, surgeons, physicians assistants, our medical oncologists, our radiation oncologists, our nurses, our researchers. Everybody has really come together with one mindset, one goal, which is really to help improve our patient care and help improve our outcomes. We're trying to see if we can further develop techniques and drive the minimally invasive surgery to the next level. One of the exciting technology is the single port robotic surgery, which instead of through three or four or five low and eight millimeter incisions, perhaps we can use a single incision. We are doing multiple studies right now. We can actually follow patients with uh, circulating tumor DNA, for instance, which you, you can actually pick up if there are tumor cells left in the body after the surgery, and you can then treat with immune therapy or chemotherapy. We are doing a study where we look at the, the variable device that you have on your hand and tells us exactly how the patient is doing after surgery. And then we're doing also a lot of basic research. Donors uh, are very important for the development in healthcare. All our research is funded by donors. You can't do this without support. Reaching 500 cystectomies, we can definitely not do it without them. To all donors, big and small, your contributions are the wind beneath our wings. Thank you for your faith in us. It helps us keep fighting the good fight, and we appreciate your continued support.